Norse and Greek Islands fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yana and this is Curves on the Road. We are now standing in the island of Rhodes, in the city of Rhodes, and behind me is a place where the Colossus, one of the wonders of the ancient world, used to stand. So now you can see what you basically can't see, but we'll enjoy it regardless. I'm sure you've already heard of Colossus. Uh, no, not the one from Deadpool. I mean the Colossus of Rhodes, a statue of the Greek sun god Helios. It was built around 280 BC and it was the tallest statue of its time. How tall was it? Actually, it was probably as tall as the Statue of Liberty from the toes to the top of its crown. You're probably wondering, why the deer? Well, in ancient times, Rhodes was called Elafiusa, which means with a lot of deer. There's definitely plenty to see and do in the city of Rhodes. You can admire the old buildings, like for example, the Evangelismos Church that was formerly called San Giovanni. It was designed by Florestano di Fausto. There's also Palazzo del Governo, and that's another work of the Fausto. Rhodes is definitely not just a touristic city where you have a couple of stalls with souvenirs and that's it. It has rich history, amazing culture and there's always something to discover. We're standing at the Rhodes Castle Castello or the Castle of the Templars. The Knights Templars built this castle in the 14th century and here's what remained of it. We'll check it out. But... The old city is now part of the UNESCO heritage site, so even in Greece we continue our trend of checking out the UNESCO site. I was mentioning the Knights Templars as the founders of the castle, but actually the correct name of the order is the Knights of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem or they are commonly known as the Knights Hospitallers. What's the difference between Templars and Hospitallers? Not a big one, actually. Both of them origin in Jerusalem, only the Templars in the mosque and the Hospitallers, surprisingly, in a hospital. We have just entered the Palace of Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes one of the best preserved fortresses of the medieval times. The palace was built on the foundations of the ancient temple of the sun god Helios. And actually, it had similar fate as the Colossus of Rhodes, as it was severely damaged in the 14th century by an earthquake.
This is a statue of Laokon and his sons. This is a mosaic of a muse Polyhymnia. This mosaic is of anonymous cheetah. We're inside the castle. It's eight euros to enter, or you can get four sides combined for 10 euros. The castle is definitely worth visiting. Not only because of its magnificent interiors, but also because the temperature inside is very pleasant. I wonder if each of the knights had a portrait on their chairs so that they knew where they sit. Well, the artist sure had some sense of humor. I believe that it must have been quite pleasant to live, even in the medieval times, on such a castle. It was cool in summer, not too cold in winter, and the view of the sea... Hey, listen, we have some tapestries that we don't like anymore. What shall we do with them? Let's make chairs out of it. There is a museum of archaeological findings as part of the exposition of the castle. Unfortunately, just the most important things of the relics survived sometime. Does he remind you of Disney's Hercules? Or is it just me? Diamonds might be girls' best friends, but gold never gets old. I think you probably already heard about the Templars. Those were the knights who were going on crusades to spread Christianity around the world. They became very famous, very successful and very rich. And the Pope didn't really like it, so he banned these knights in, at the end of the 14th century. You can get a ticket that is combining four sides in the old town. The main one is probably the Templar Castle. I highly recommend it. It's amazing. It's a must-see one. Then behind me is the Museum of the Decorative Arts. Pretty, but I, you can't take pictures there, so hands up for that. Then just a few meters uh, under the bridge near me, there is a beautiful church that is also part of the, the ticket. And then there is the archaeological side with some statues and some display of pottery. All of it's pretty cool. I think the best ones are the Templar Castle, obviously, and then the church. So, if you want to explore the city thoroughly, you can do it like that.
let me tell you something about the history of the ancient Greek columns. We have the basic one, the door one, plain, all this. Then some with the little swirly things, that's the newer one. And the newest one is over there, up there. And that's the Corinthian one, with flowers and the full decoration. We're at the gate of St. Paul. It's part of the old town of the city of Rhodes. And we're looking at the lighthouse and the windmills in the background. The old city is very beautiful. It's ancient. It really has the genius policy. If you can come here, do so. Don't forget to bring a lot of water because it can get really hot in the summer. How hot, you ask? Hell is an air-conditioned room compared to how hot it is here now. But we still enjoy it regardless, and I think you would too. If you want some Greek souvenirs, you can find them all around the city, starting from normal ones like t-shirts, up to something bizarre. They sell soap here. Yeah, definitely soap. That's the shape of soap. For our taste, the city was maybe way too much polluted by the tourism and there were too many stalls and restaurants. And sometimes there are like pushy owners of the restaurants, so you just have to clearly say no if they invite you in and you are not feeling like going. We have rented the car to explore the island. It was about 90 euros per day. Two days cost the same and from more days the reduction and discounts start. So judge for yourself how long you might need. I think one day is pretty enough. Our target was the second biggest city of Rhodes. Lindos. It is an ancient city where you need to use donkeys if you want help climbing a huge hill to get up to the top for the view and the ancient ruins. To be honest, I gave up. It was too hot and too much of climbing for me to be comfortable and I definitely didn't want to bother the poor animals to carry me up. But don't worry, I still have the footage from the top so that you can decide if it's worth the climb. So that's it. That's all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a dear thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and bye!